sleep and you can play Dom Team Death, the free for all, CTF and sabotage. Man, I play them all from search up to headquarters, down the list of demolition, objectively speaking, to win is my only mission of a sin. It's not by omission of all my What's up guys, this is your boy Hardcore Gamer for Life and I'm back and I'm bringing you some free for all on C-Town with the Spaz 12 and in this game I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> what up YouTubers, Hardcore Gamer for Life here and the reason I did Wings of Redemption's intro to start off with is because I'm stepping up to Wings Challenge uh, to putting out two to three videos every single day and by the way Wings, you know, you, you suck at math, you may be great at YouTube but you suck at math. Uh, you know, it's going to be averaging straight three videos a day to get 20 done in a week. Straight three a day uh, because, you know, seven times three, that's only 21. That's barely over the limit right there. And that's if you did three every single day. So basically, uh, you only have one day of leeway where you can do just two videos. So, but that's fine. I'm, I'm willing to step up to that plate, my friend. And uh, I'm interested to see how many other commentators are going to do that. Uh, you know, you may have put yourself in for a lot of work saying you're going to watch all these videos, bro. But, uh, you know, uh, definitely cool of you to do. And I like this challenge. Not so much into the Moab challenge. Not that I can't get a Moab. I've got a couple on my channel. But, you know, the thing of it is, I'm really not big into even trying to go for Moabs. I just, I don't know. I find Assault kill streaks more rewarding and enjoyable, personally. That's Maybe that's just me. You know, I don't mess that much around with support. You know, I don't really mess that much around with Specialist. A little bit more than support. As you can see, I'm rocking Specialist here with my Spaz-12 because I have been going for a Spaz-12 Moab. I love the Spaz-12. It's my favorite shotgun. You know, definitely not the most easy mode shotgun in the game by any means. Being the pump action, you know, you got to be accurate. Accuracy is key and just hope you don't get any of those shit markers. But as you may have guessed from viewing some of the horrid aim fails you've seen already, this video is far from a tutorial and I am getting a little bit off topic. Basically what I was talking about was Wings' Moab challenge and Wings, let me give you a suggestion. I don't know if this would work. I'm not sure if like theater mode stuff has a timestamp on it, but if you get, could get people to save all the Moabs to their vault, if there is a timestamp telling you when that game was played, uh, you know, that'll give you a better idea because, you know, obviously people could save all the Moabs that they've gotten since the game came out and just make a montage of that, you know, bunch of last kills and who are you to, you know, know when they got those Moabs. Uh, unless you actually see stuff in their theater that says, hey, you know, here's all these gameplays and I got them all this week. Plus, if you can see them in the theater, that means you can tell for sure that they didn't, like, boost for 23 kills and just get one last regular kill to put on the montage video. So just a little tip on that. Uh, and uh, let's move right along as to actually why I selected this video uh, to be a commentary. And there's a very good reason for that. However, rather than take the direct route, we're going to kind of go the roundabout way as to why I posted this video or chose to post this video. And uh, first off, let's talk about shotguns and specifically shotguns being overpowered. Now, you know, a lot of people consider the striker to be an overpowered weapon. I'm not sure I agree with that analysis. Is it a very powerful weapon? Yes. But will I even get a hit marker on you if you're 50 feet away from me? No. Therefore, if you're any further away from me than across the room, I'm not going to have a prayer to give you with that strike, okay? You know, if you're 50 feet away from me and you've got an ACR or a PP90M1, I'm done. If you're any kind of a decent player, I'm not going to be able to close the distance between us in time before you kill me, okay? So that's kind of my reasoning with why I say... You know, even when you're talking about a striker, I can see with the striker where people kind of say it's overpowered. Okay, yes, you can spam the trigger. You know, yes, it's not the highest skill weapon in the world to get a kill with. But the skill doesn't lie in actually getting the kill with a shotgun, especially when you're talking about a striker. Now, spaz, that's one thing. Pump action, you got to be surgically accurate. There is a lot more skill involved in that. But when you're talking about a striker... The skill does not lie in actually getting the kill. The skill lies in getting in position to get the kills. Okay? Because basically what a good shotgun player does is they make sure that when they meet you, you meet them on their terms. Okay? Does that make any sense? Hopefully. You know, basically like Woody says, you know, you got to control the engagement. And when you're using a shotgun, controlling the engagement means ensuring that all your battles are as close range as possible. 
So this Prestige, I golded out my MSR and my Spaz 12, and you know, I've been going for my gold Spaz 12 Moab, you know, because I'd really like to put one of those up on the channel for you guys. You know, Spaz 12 has always been a big part of my channel ever since I started in MW2, and uh, you know, I definitely want to keep it that way. I actually didn't play with the Spaz 12 for my first three or four Prestiges uh, because the default Spaz 12 was so horribad, you know, I couldn't envision it becoming useful. Uh, you know, just from leveling it up, because, you know, most of the guns start out pretty awesome right out of the box. And, you know, I just, I didn't think it was going to get that much better just from attachments and proficiencies, but, you know, it does. It gets almost to the level of Modern Warfare 2 with the extended mags and the damage. But, you know, even then, you'll still see a few more hit markers than you would have in Modern Warfare 2, so I don't really even see why they need to patch this whole extended mags glitch thing. Basically what it does is it makes the shotguns usable, in my opinion, but uh, you know, whatever. When extended mags are no longer available, I'll throw on the grip for reduced crossfire size. I'm not going to put the Spaz-12 down. It'll still be pretty beastly, uh, but you know, it's going to be knocked down a notch. And really it should have been every bit as powerful as it was in Modern Warfare 2, considering that the guns, you know, have basically all been given stopping power in this game, you know. Basically every gun has stopping power. Every, every gun is like the badass version of itself right out of the box except for the shotguns you know and why tone them down anymore I don't really understand that why they're wanting to do that but uh, so anyways guys kinda on the subject of shotgun criers and you know people that just piss and moan and whine you know oh, we know they're all over the place it don't matter if you shoot them with a shotgun a sniper rifle an SMG a, you know assault rifle they're gonna find something to bitch about about how you killed them you know, I understand this, but it seems like there's even more of these people when it comes to the shotguns. And, uh, you know, it really makes me laugh, in all honesty. You know, especially when I'm rocking something like the Spaz 12. I mean, that is far from overpowered. You know, I don't care what you say. Uh, the Spaz, you know, you can make your arguments for the Striker being overpowered, but the Spaz 12 is absolutely not. Uh, but as you'll see here in a moment, when this game concludes... Uh, I was actually playing with a gentleman named Viking Heart, as you'll see on the scoreboard at the end. And he was just started talking shit at the end of this game and calling me a douchebag for using the shotgun. I'll actually cut the commentary at that point uh, so you can hear him say it. But yeah, guys, in the lobby after this, he was all saying, Stick around, hardcore. I'm going to F your world up. Don't use the shotgun this time and see what happens. Oh. <laughs> Oh my goodness. But anyways, guys, you can see the continuation of this next round in my very next video. I'm going to go right from this scoreboard, moving on into the next round so you can see there's no interruption. Uh, but, you know, I definitely switch away from the shotgun at his request, and I don't think he's liking it very much by the end of the round. So anyways, guys, as always, thanks so much for viewing. Please rate, comment, and subscribe if you like what you see. Peace out. Have a great one. Keep it on the dial where you know that it's hot. Cause you know that on my channel I upload a lot of videos of all different types of varieties. Game plays many Tasha's live comms, even some comedy bits. Ain't no playlist titled greatest hits, not yet, but you can bet.